Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef, and I'm here just outside of Great Basin National Park in the great state of Nevada, just over the Utah border. And in keeping with our cooking and camping with the step-by-step -step chef series, we're going to make a delicious dinner to brighten this otherwise kind of gloomy day. This is the monsoon rain season starting out here, which is thrilling the locals. They need water badly. They've been in the middle of a drought, and this is great for them, and it's actually great for us. It gives us a chance to do some good cooking. So what we're going to make is chicken and corn curried couscous. It is a quick dish, it's a delicious dish, and it's great for when you're camping or when you're at home and you want something a little bit spicy. Although you can also make it without the curry if you want. You know, I'm not, I'm not a cook -tater. I want you to make it your way. And we're gonna talk about that. So come on, let's cook. And here are the ingredients for our chicken and corn curried couscous. First of all, I have about a quarter pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is a cool recipe though. If you wanna make this quick, you can actually use a can of chicken. Just make sure to drain the water off. Then we have a small can of corn. We have a box of couscous. And what I really like about couscous is it cooks fast. Um, some of the rices and other pastas can take a while. And when you're dealing with a propane stove, that can be a problem. So keep that in mind when you're um, shopping for what you're going to make when you're cooking uh, in terms of the pastas. How long does it take? You don't want to spend 45 minutes cooking rice on a propane stove. You're gonna lose a lot of propane that way. I also add um, one teaspoon, and this is to taste, of soy sauce, uh, a teaspoon of curry or more, again, that's to taste, a half teaspoon of sugar, that's to take a little bit of the bite out of the curry. I add one jalapeno, optional, that adds some more heat, and a quarter cup of minced onion. Let me show you how to put all this together. Okay, so of course our veggies have been rinsed off, and now we're just going to cut them up and get them ready for this dish. So first I'm doing the optional jalapeno. If you like it spicy, go for it. If you don't, don't go for it. It's that simple. It's totally up to you what ingredients ultimately you decide to use. So I'm just coring it and taking the seeds out. Now I'm doing this with my bare hands. If you um, are a person who touches your eyes a lot, make sure to wear a glove or use your knife and fork to do this. Don't let it contact your skin because if you touch your eyes, you will burn your eyes. That's a pretty simple equation. But trust me, as someone who's done it, <laughs> you only do it once. Um, when I'm camping, I don't usually have the gloves with me. I don't know why not, but um, I just don't seem to remember them. But I'm just gonna finely mince the jalapeno. I'm just putting in this plate to put it aside. And you can add a little bit less jalapeno if, you know, if you don't want the whole thing, you can always add just a little bit less. I'll meet you halfway. That's what it's all about. We're friends. We are friends in cooking and in this case in camping or in staying home and cooking. Honestly, I make these dishes everywhere I go and I just find them so delicious. And, the, and again, the quicker version of this would be, let's say you got back to your campsite and you're starving, you could literally just make the couscous, throw a can of chicken in it, drained, drain a can of corn, throw that in, and just heat it up on site. And you're covered, you, you have a delicious meal. I'm just showing you a slightly more opulent version because it's rainy and I need something to do. <laughs> and, um, and I'm not very good at solitaire, I always lose. So now I'm cutting the onion, the top of the onion off, and peeling it. Nobody wants onion skin in their uh, corny couscous. I tried it, it doesn't work. So let's give it a good peel. And then all we do is we score the top 
of the onion. You can tell it's a little windy out here. I'm, de I'm dealing with some weather, but I'm doing it for us because we deserve a good meal. So I went parallel lines close together to mince this, and now I'm doing perpendicular lines. And then I'm just gonna cut down the face, and that gives us our quarter cup. And I will use this onion till it's gone. I don't, um, I don't throw food away when I'm traveling or at home. I always find a, a use for everything, um, except for onion skin, like we just discussed. I, I don't wanna be hypocritical. So there's our quarter cup of onion. That's the cleanest cut. So I'm just, I'm just going in and touching it up. Okay, that should do it. I'll be back in a moment. I just have to clean off the cutting board. And the next thing we'll do is we'll just dice our chicken. It cooks faster, and in this dish you don't want huge, huge chicken chunks but just little bite-sized diced squares is perfect. And remember, food handling, you gotta practice it, whether you're at home or you're camping. So I will be cleaning my hands and all of these utensils in soapy water, just like I would at home. You don't wanna cut corners and end up, you know, getting any kind of, um, any kind of stomach thing. So make sure you clean everything, whether you're at home or on the road. The rules don't change. Okay, so I just cut that into strips, and now I'm just dicing it. Like I said, these will cook a lot faster. Let's see. Yep, that chicken's looking perfect for what we want to do with it. So next, I am going to meet you over at the stove. Okay, so here we are at the old propane stove. Make sure to read the instructions on how to operate your stove. I did for mine. First, we're going to light it up. Being careful, remember, don't put your hand down there. You can tell if it's on. And we have our frying pan ready somewhere here. And this pan is going to be what we make the couscous in. So the first thing I want to do is just brown up the chicken. And then we're going to put in the onion and the jalapeno. And here's some olive oil so that the chicken doesn't stick to the pan. You can use vegetable oil too if you want. That's totally up to you. So I'm just going to get the oil to coat the bottom of the pan and then just add our chicken. It'll be sizzling in a moment. And then we're just gonna brown it up. And then what we will do is just as it reaches the point where it's browned, we'll add the onion, the jalapeno, and the curry and the other seasonings to this. And then we'll start, as those warm up and get to know each other, we'll start the, um, start the couscous. Because it couscous, once you get it rolling, because it really doesn't have a lot of water in it, um, you know, it only takes like five to seven minutes. So. I'm just gonna get this browning and I'll be right back. Okay, so 15 minutes in, the chicken is looking pretty good. It's gonna cook a little while longer, but I wanna saute these vegetables with it. I don't want them to have too, too much crunch. And I also wanna cook in our seasonings. So here's our curry and just add it to your taste. Here we go. And if you don't like curry, you don't have to add curry. I'm gonna add a little soy sauce, and you can add this to, um, you know, have each person add their own if they want, uh, to taste at the table. And here's our pinch of sugar. 
just to take some of the bite out of the curry. Mm. And I'm going to let this saute for about five to ten minutes, get everything all cooked through, and then we'll start the couscous, which will cook very fast. So I'll be right back. Okay, so all those ten minutes later, it's looking pretty good. We're just going to stir our corn in to warm it up. And just kind of move this around every now and then, keep everything nice and warm. I might even do a video on the quick version of this because you won't believe it, how fast it is. You get back from your hike and you just throw it together. It is so quick. This is just a little bit more involved because I have the time. It's raining out. <laughs> okay, so here's our couscous water already. I'm gonna start up that burner. The couscous is one where you get the water to a boil, stir the couscous in, and for most couscouses that I've made, you just turn the burner off, cover it, and it just uh, cooks itself. So we're going to bring this up to a boil. That, I'm at altitude, so this might take about, um, on its own, about five minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, practical tip time, step by step. He ain't as perfect as he thinks. This windscreen, I think you can see it, these windscreens on the propane stove. When I set up the studio out here, I was so excited to have this dinner that I actually had this part having the wind push in like that. It prevented this from cooking quickly because the heat was getting blown out the back. So remember, when you're using one of these stoves, either have the back with the wind hitting it or these windscreens. It does make a difference. They're there for a reason. And I just got that reminder. Now we have our couscous water boiling. So let's add our couscous, stir that in. Just a quick stir. And in five minutes, the couscous will be done. And this couscous I have, you turn off the heat. And then you just cover it, and you leave it for five minutes. And five minutes later, all the ingredients are done. I'm turning the heat off on this. There we go, make sure to turn that heat off. I'm just gonna stir it right into the couscous. You are getting protein, you're getting vegetables, and you're getting a delicious, a delicious carbohydrate with your couscous. Delicious starch with it. You will love this meal camping. And again, you can make it with, you can make it with your um, canned chicken if you want. You can leave out the veggies, except, except the corn. What I would do is the couscous, the corn, and the chicken. It's so fast when you get back to camp. So look at that. Mmm. That is going to be yummy. So congratulations, look at what you just made and I'm about to eat. Delicious chicken, corn, and curried couscous. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you will try this dish. Now, if you like this recipe, please visit my website, stepbystepchef.com. You will find this with the collection of cooking and camping recipes as part of our series. You will get a free recipe, and you will also find free recipes and videos for over 175 other dishes. I mean, I, I'm cooking everywhere. I'm in one of the most remote parts of the country, and I'm out here cooking for, well, me and you. So I hope you, you do take a look. The other thing you're going to find there is videos on how to camp, the basics of camping. So you can hit the road too, and you can make these dishes or eat them at home. Eat them at home. I eat this at home, so we can all eat it at home. Let's eat it at home. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. So I am Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. I'm at Great Basin National Park, Nevada, and I'm just gonna keep cooking and camping until you can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna. So I'll see you in the next episode.